Have you ever wanted to create a GIF in Premiere Pro or did you even know that was possible? Well, let's go ahead and learn that today. So grab your coffee, let's jump in Premiere Pro and learn something new. To create this GIF, to start off with, what we wanna do is adjust its length. We do not need a full 16 seconds. We wanna choose what we're actually making into a GIF. So to do that, we need to just slide through and we can either trim the video down to do that. But if you have a full sequence, of different effects and sounds and everything like that, this that wouldn't work the best. So what we can also do is use the in and out to render just that section of the sequence into a GIF. So for this one, we just wanna start where he's about to, he gets a surprise here, click the I button and then end it with the thumbs and we click the O button. That the I and the O is create was what creates that in and out. You can also right click and click mark in and mark out. Now that we have the section that we want to render into our GIF, we can go up to the sequence and into sequence settings. I typically like to create square GIFs. They are the most widely used. They work in a lot of formats really well, chats, text conversations, things like that. So to do that, I just adjust that right here. And we do that because now we can take a look at if everything fits in that square frame, and it does. If it doesn't, we can just make some quick adjustments to fit it in that frame. So now that we have got everything pre-processed, we can get to that actual rendering out section. So you're probably on something like H.264 over here, and that's just gonna create a video. We don't wanna do that. We're gonna go to animated GIF like so, and make sure that if you're using that in and out feature that you go to entire source, you go down to source in and out instead of entire source. Um, this will make sure that the in and out is proper. If you accidentally grab this and drag it, by the way, just go and reclick it and it'll put it back where it should be. Next, we wanna adjust the size of our GIF. We do not want a giant 1080p, 20 megabyte, 100 megabyte GIF. So we can go and change the frame size to something like 256 by 256. This will help reduce the amount of data that's processed because it's a smaller image. Think of the difference between 4K and of 720p. We're just helping that along. You can see that we do have a noticeable difference in quality over here. So adjust it depending on your use case. If you're gonna make it really big, make this a little bigger. Finally, frame rate. We do not need 25 frames a second for a GIF. A lot of times we can cut this way down. Um, we can try out five and just see how that looks. Take a look here. Maybe a little too choppy for what we want. So let's go into that 10 really quick. And 10 looks proper. 10 looks like what a GIF might be on the internet here. So now we have all of that set. Make sure sources in and out and all the custom features, animated GIF. We're ready to click that export button. So we click it and it'll export it right out. Check the size. If it doesn't work, you can always adjust those other settings back in the export and export one until it works out properly. The only other way is to make it smaller. If, if you've got the settings down and it's still too big, you're going to have to make it just a little bit shorter to make that size requirement. But that's how easy it is to create a GIF in Premiere Pro. Maybe a little overkill, but a lot of times you would just want to share what's directly in your sequence. So it's the easiest thing to do. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button to see more videos similar to this one. If you like the stock footage, check out Envato Elements. I got a link in the description below. It is a monthly subscription service where you get like a near unlimited amount of stock footage. It's awesome. I use it for everywhere. So check that link out. Until next time, everyone. See ya.